Had a good question today from a Storyline user who wanted to create an audio slide with several audio clips. But the thing is, he wanted the learner to listen to the audio clip that they selected in its entirety before they selected another audio clip. Well, there's a number of different ways that you can do that. The way that I chose to do it in this example is I drew these three buttons on my slide, one for each of the audio clips that I wanted the learner to hear. And then I created a separate slide layer for each audio clip. So down here in the layer pane, I've got a layer for you know the audio clip number one, two, and three. And then of course in the base layer, I added a trigger to each of my buttons, right? So this is saying to show audio layer one when the user clicks on button one. And then I did a similar thing for each of the other two buttons. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, on the layers themselves, there's not a lot here. Um, all I added to the layers was this little symbol to indicate you know, which of the audio clips was playing. And then I also added the audio itself down here, which you can see on the timeline. So the big question is, how do we keep the learner on the layer until the audio is totally through? Well, there's a couple ways that we can do that. One of the things that I did was on the layer properties, if we select this layer down here in the layer pane and then click on the gear icon, that's going to pop up the layer properties and this is where you've, you're going to have a bunch of different choices but one of the things that I marked was prevent the user from clicking on the base layer so what that does is it basically is going to prevent them from being able to click on the other audio buttons while this one is playing it kind of locks them on to this slide layer but then we also need a way to get them off of this layer when the audio is done and that's what this trigger is for right here I created another trigger here that just says to hide the layer. Which layer? Well, this one, the one that they're currently on, when the timeline of this layer ends. So what's going to happen is on the base layer, um, the learner's going to click on a button. So if they click on audio one, they're going to jump to layer one. The audio plays. And then when the timeline is finished, when all of this audio finishes playing out, then this trigger is going to cause that layer to close and then they're going to find themselves back on the base layer. Same behavior for these other two audio buttons as well. Now you might have noticed they also have this little um, layer here called oops and um, I figured that this storyline user that asked this question probably wanted to lock the learner on this slide until all of the audio had been listened to. So um, you can also do that in storyline. So the way that we did that is in the trigger panel, um, what I did is I um, attached a condition to the built-in trigger that goes with the next button on the Storyline player. So what I did is I said, jump to the next slide when the user clicks next. That's a built-in trigger that Storyline creates for you. But I added some conditions. I only wanted the learner to be able to jump to the next slide if all three of those buttons had been visited. In other words, if they had clicked and listened to all three of my audio clips. Now if they didn't do that, that's what this next trigger is about. This is what's going to happen if all three of those buttons have not yet been visited. I'm saying show the layer called oops when the user clicks the next button if the first button is still normal or the second button is still normal, normal meaning not visited, or the third button is still normal. So that way, if they try to move on by clicking the next button, they're going to see this little warning layer that says, oh, you have to still listen to the audio before you can move on. So here's the effect. What we do, so we'll preview this, and um, here's our slide. If we click on audio one, so here's the audio we're going to hear one. the audio. Let me turn that down a little bit. No we have to listen to it all the way through. I can't click on these other two buttons until the audio is finished. And then we go on to you know either of these other two. We can do them out of order if we want. We'll do the third one. And if I try to click next, I get my little warning. And then I can clear it by clicking the OK button. But I have to keep listening till that little um, you know that slide layer finishes playing and then my little icon goes away. Here's my third um, layer that I've got to listen to. And now once that's done playing and my little icon goes away. The layer closes and now I can click next and go on to the next slide in my course. So that's how you can create um, kind of a soundboard type of slide with several audio clips and require the learner to listen to all of them um, in their entirety before they move on.